Hey guys, Ron with the Driven Channel, and I am doing another car review. This time, it's a shipbox review. Yep, that's right. I am going to do a review on my personal daily driver. This is a 2001 Toyota Camry. Some of you may have seen this car in a couple of videos in the past where I replaced the passenger side mirror and used some RC car parts. I'll link that below. Uh, and uh, did basically I stole it from my son whenever we bought him a Volkswagen Passat uh, when, when he turned 17. Uh, but this was his first car. Um, but when he turned 17, I never got rid of it because it's a Toyota Camry and a Toyota Camry is just a reliable car. As a matter of fact, his car was uh, broken down for a while, his Passat, and he was daily driving this again for like six months until he got a little money together and he got some money to afford to fix his Passat. Um, so he's back to driving that. And what does that mean now that I no longer am driving my Mark 7 GTI every day? I needed something with good gas mileage to daily. Uh, now I have a Mark IV GTI, which I could daily. Uh, wouldn't have any problems with doing that because it's kind of a shitbox too. But it just doesn't get as good a gas mileage as this does, and so that's kind of why I keep this car around. Now, um, a few things about this car is it's not fun to drive. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, when I drive every day, I find myself uh, kind of hating life. Uh, I, you know, listen to music loud because it's the only thing that gives me any joy while I'm driving a beige Toyota Camry. Uh, but there are some specs um, on this car that I'd like to go over with you, and uh, I'll do that now. Okay, so here are some of the important specs of a 2001 Toyota Camry. So, horsepower. This engine is a 2.2 liter, four-cylinder engine making a whopping 136 horsepower. Now let me tell you, each one of those horses must be the weakest, most anemic crap horses to ever try and work anything, because this car is slow. As a matter of fact, this car is so slow that when I tried to research the 0-60 to 60 time, I couldn't find one. I could only find the V6 0-60 to 60 time, which was still fairly slow. But let me tell you, the reason why nobody has ever been able to publish the 0-60 to 60 time on this car is because they just don't have that much time to do the test. But most important spec, 32 miles to the gallon. That's about all I can say. Okay, well now that you've seen those impressive specs, uh, I can tell you what it's like to drive a 2001 Toyota Camry. And let me tell you, I'm excited just to say the words 2001 Toyota Camry. So, uh, handling is it's not good, it's not good. Um, doesn't, doesn't like to take corners very well, it leans over on itself and squeals the tires very, very soon. Um, of course, with 205 wide tires, that's kind of be expected. Um, but braking um, is also it's not good. It's not not very good. Uh, it's um, it brakes reasonably well, but if you're driving, you know, above the speed limit, like I like to try to do when I'm not in a Toyota Camry, um, it stops just okay enough. Um, but let me tell you, acceleration, I'm going to give it a full pull right now just so you can see how <sighs> well, yeah, it's not good at that either. Um, what is this car good at? Uh, this car's comfortable, um, which is exciting. Uh, it's not, it's not really, but. Uh, it is comfortable and um, it rides nice and smooth. Those are both very important things for, you know, maybe somebody else, not me. But um, either way, uh, it is comfortable and it does ride nice. And um, it actually gets very good gas mileage. Um, I, I do have to give it props for that. I just use 87 octane in this because you know, why would you use anything but 87 octane whenever it takes 87 octane? So, um, so cheap fuel, good gas mileage, good ride, and it's comfortable. And that's probably 
about all of the nice things that I really have to say about it. It does have a decent sized gas tank too, so uh, it's also a comfortable road trip car. Now, uh, a few things about the car. Um, you know, it's a Toyota, so nothing's broken and nothing will likely ever be broken on it. Uh, this car has a little over 138,000 miles on it right now. And uh, I guess it's kind of low mileage for the year. But um, yeah, it's just everything works. And I, that's just not very exciting. Um, so I may be selling this car <laughs> uh, to buy another Volkswagen um, sometime in the future. Um, I'll let you guys know if I decide to do that. But um, yeah, I hate this car. I hate it. Um, the only thing that I really appreciate about it is that I do have a car that gets good gas mileage that I can drive um, to work, I guess, and back. And, you know, if I want to go to other towns and save on gas, and it's transportation. Um, and sometimes that's, you know, that's important is just having transportation. Um, but I have three cars right now. I have this. I have my 1998 Toyota 4Runner which I love. Um, matter of fact, I've said this before, my 4Runner is actually my favorite vehicle, uh, as much as you guys think that I just love Volkswagens. Uh, the favorite vehicle that I own, and probably that I've ever owned, is my 98 4Runner. Uh, but anyway, I wrote an article about that too. I can link that down below as well. But, um, yeah, this might be going. Uh, this might be going because it's just not exciting enough. Plus, I have plans to get something a little faster, and that may mean that I get rid of my Mark IV GTI and this, um, and, you know, buy something, uh, you know, it'll definitely probably be German and uh, a lot faster than even my Mark IV. And my Mark IV is an extremely fun to drive car, but it's just not as fast as what I'm used to. Now, you take somebody out of a 12-second car and you put them in a 14-second car, and of course it's not going to be as, as fun and as fast. Um, but it is really enjoyable to drive. And let me tell you, even though that car has a lot more problems than, uh, than this car, I would so, so, so much rather be driving it than this right now. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to get out of here and uh, commute myself back home because when you drive this car, you're not really driving it, you're commuting, let's just face it. Uh, so anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video, and maybe I'll do another shipbox review on maybe my Mark IV or maybe my Toyota 4Runner. They're both kind of still shipboxes. Anyway, see you guys on the next video.